I'm Penny Ellers of Support Tech uh, from Sage Business Vision, and today I'm going to be going through how to run the data validation options. So as we log into Business Vision, we would go up to Utilities and down to Data Validation. If there are users in the system, it will allow you to come into this option. We do not recommend that you run this option when people are posting invoices or journal entries in the system because it compares one module to another if one's updated and the other one isn't because they're in the middle of a post when you run the report logs, then you'll get incorrect errors on your logs. Okay. With the data validation, we normally run it for all, so it runs for all physical periods, and you will have every option there is for validation. If you choose to run it by a date range, you would uncheck all, and you would select your dates that you want to run it by. By doing this, you will lose some of the options to validate, such as validate customer, validate vendor, validate physical period balances. The reason why we take these options away is because it will not give an accurate balance when a selected range is run. The customer balances, vendor, and the physical period are based on the physical period, all transactions, and they're all calculated to get the correct balance. So by you selecting a date range, you're losing some of those transactions and you'll probably get an unbalanced entry from it. So we just turn it back on. Some other options on here. Last run date. So the accounts receivable and all of them, I have last run this on November 16th, 2010. I did find errors at that time. So if we view our log, here's our customer and the different errors that can occur. GL transaction is missing from the general ledger. The GL transaction is un not balanced. The GL transaction date does not match the one that's in accounts receivable transaction. This is a nice little thing. Remember these columns are flexible. You can move them back and forth so you can see all your information. Customer balance does not match the AR opening balance and the customer code doesn't exist. These are your customers, their names, the date, the type of transaction, transaction number, you know, the debit or credit amount, the balances on them, and the balance due. So scrolling over, you can get more information from there. If for some reason you want to keep this log, you can export it into Excel so you can save it. Okay, if you click on the different transactions, you can also go in and see the journal entries to see more information on them so you can drill down into them. You won't be able to fix them from here but at least you can get as much reporting done as, as possible. So let's close this up. So because I've selected all, I am going to now rerun these. When I rerun these, even though I have errors found and the logs are active, it will get rid of the logs and redo them. So it overwrites the information. The reason why it does that is because if the error still exists, it will keep on reporting up until you have it resolved. When I click run, it will give me my warning that you know other users that are actively posting in the system is not recommended. Please ensure other users are not posting before proceeding. Click OK to continue or for the data validation. So as long as they are not posting, they can be in the system. Again people like getting their work done and they don't always concentrate that they need to be out or not posting so there is a temptation just to carry on doing their work which means that you could get possible errors on your report that are not true. If that is a temptation of your workers which is a good temptation but if it is have them either exit the system while you do the data validation or do it after hours when they're not on. We're going to click OK and you're going to see me, my progress bar, running down here. For each module, it goes through and processes. I am now complete, and there are errors reported. Click OK. So the errors are found. My view buttons are active. So in sales analysis, there's no errors in there. So I can come back in, and I can review them again. Just quickly to show you a couple of fixes, like this one where the client 
code does not exist, AR5, I would need to go into the customer detail and add that code back in, then do a reorganize of customer and accounts receivable, and check on to recalculate sales statistics and present balance to make sure everything's corrected there. For a full listing of all the errors, um, you can look to the uh, the YouTube video on the full data validation reporting. It gives you full errors. There is knowledge base articles out there as well. Okay, and another one I just want to show you quickly is the chart of accounts. So this is showing me that the net change amounts, and again, we can move it over to see the whole error, does not match the sum of the GL transactions. So these are the accounts that have one balance in the chart of accounts, but when the GL transactions are calculated, they add up to this. That could be because I had transactions error out on me and I put them back in and it doubled the balance on these accounts. So I'm going to come out and we're actually going to do the repair on this one. When we come in, again, everybody would have to be out and I should have a backup of my data in case something goes wrong, I may have to restore to get back to where I was. But once I have that done, I can come in to reorganize. In my case here, I'm going to say yes. Okay, the original one gets deleted. Ensure that the company data has been backed up. And I am going to check on GL transactions and to reallocate them to new data to new physical periods. Once I reorganize, away it goes. Complete. And now I can come back in and we'll rerun the data validation again. So this time I only want the last one. And I'm going to run it. Yes, I know we cannot have anybody posting. Here it goes. No errors found. So by me reorganizing has fixed this problem down here. So you can see that you can run an individual module. You do not have to run them all. You can go in and view the logs at any time. The logs do get overrun. You can export the logs to Excel as well. Okay, and let's exit out of there. And that is data validation.